Welcome back to some air rifle pest control. We're going to start off on the dairy farm and see what's about. And first rat of the evening, straight between the eyes. Last year was very, very quiet, but this year seems to be picking up a little bit. I'm seeing a lot more activity now the nights are getting darker and colder. And they're all going the same way as him. You're not going to get much more dead than that, trust me. You can see I'm kicking around there. Nice clean headshot, helicopter tail, back legs fashion. That's a win. That's a win in my book. Got a few permissions on this video. I've got the dairy farm, I've got some private property, and I've got the arable farm as well. So we'll just let him settle down. After the death dance, we'll move on. Some of you will recognize this. This is the cattle feed shed. Now the rats tend to run from the silage clamp on the left across to the cattle shed on the right. They run inside to help themselves and then they run out and get shot. Happy with that? We don't want your sort around here, you ghastly little animal. Go for a wander around the farm and on my journey I spot a little incy wincy spider crawling around. Got a little mesmerised watching a crawl around. Now this little fella runs from where we've got all the seed and all the grain across straight towards me and stops about seven yards in front. He sits there <laughs> and he stares at me through the nettles thinking he's not going to put his hand in here. Surely not. Nope, but I'll certainly put a pellet in. Seven yards is right on the focal tipping point for the scope so Anything close to that, it's just going to blur and I'm not really going to get a shot, to be honest. This is quite a little hotspot, actually. What I did was I had a look around with thermal and I could see little heat pockets. So then I put the white torch on and had a look and I could see holes in the ground where the nests are. So I'm going to keep coming back to this area because there's clearly plenty of activity over here. Little youngsters come out. Show them what happens to mummy and daddy when they poke the nose out. I keep getting asked what illuminator I use when I shoot. Now I've used various ones in the past including some really good quality ones like Bryanite's T28 and T18 and I'm also using a superb bit of kit here which is the KL52 Plus from Order Pro. This one comes with red, green, white and infrared pills so you can swap them out. I only use the infrared pill when I'm doing night shoot and I don't use the red or the green. It's 850 nanometers so that gives me a nice crisp clear image and throws the light a long way. This video that you're seeing here is a review video that I did on the product. I've linked to it in the description. If you're looking for a hunting torch or a general purpose torch, have a look at this video in full. I do some endurance testing on the light itself, explain what the product is, and I also do some distance testing, which you can see here. I basically send a drone 400 or so yards down the beach, and I test how far the light can be thrown by these torches. Links in the description, check it out. If you're looking for one, you cannot go wrong with a KL52+. Now, back to the shooting. It all goes quiet, so I get on my feet and go for a wander. Nothing by the little nest area that I thought there would be, but plenty in the barn. That one kindly obliges, punch a hole straight through his head with a GSB, and he's down. His buddy sticks his head out after I clean up the area, wondering what's going on, but he ain't sticking around. Probably wise, probably wise. This is private property, this is a friend of mine. He is the farm manager for one of the permissions and he's got rats in the bottom corner of his garden. There's a nest directly behind there and they keep coming and coming and coming. So I go up there every now and then over the winter, bag a few for them, go back, bag a few more, go back, bag a few more. They are endless. Over the autumn when they first start coming out, they're ripping up his vegetable patch, helping themselves to all his berries and his plants. They're generally sort of very healthy animals until I came along. I keep getting a glimpse of them on the thermal and then when you try to get a bead on them with the infrared, it's really quite difficult because you can't always see them. But this one sitting up on the tree, totally different story. He sits there staring at me, so I punch his brains straight through his brown eye. Okay, let's get back to the dairy farm. There's some more rats to clean up there. This is over by the silage clamp. Just ear holes in with the GSB. What a mess that made. Looked like it being dragged through a bush backwards. Over in the main part of the farm, we've got a big barn here. And it's got a lot of machinery in and some spoke grain. 
He's had his last. His son's sitting there thinking, what's up, Dad? That's what's up. Like father, like son, two down, switching them both off with the GSB. There was the third one there, but he wasn't waiting around. He clearly had some other plans. Unlike this chap right here. Oh, it was a nice easy shot. Straight down. He's not getting back up from that. Can you just come forward a little bit for me? Just a little bit. Thank you. What I see here is a lot of activity around this gate that just won't sit still long enough. However, it's like a bus, isn't it? You don't get one, you get two at the same time. Just about to commit the shot and the bus do a runner. One of them, however, sits down and waits just too long. Just too long. You get a chest B straight to his eyeball. I'm having that. Yeah, I'm having that. That was a good shot. His buddy's clearly done a runner. Or ran back to tell his mum that he's uh, no longer with us. Whoa, hello nosy neighbour. This is what you get. Fish him out. Now I'm deliberately delaying this shot because there's a lot of cattle in this barn and I don't want to take a headshot and for him to land in the water trough to me have to go in and fish him out. What I generally do is take a high body shot on these. They will run off but they'll bleed out very quickly. So I sit and wait. I think I'm clever. <sighs> Lost my chance. Fair. If you're looking for your buddy mate, he's in the pile by my feet. Come on, come and join him. Back over by the drill. This is where I shot Daddy and his youngster. I had probably four, five, six maybe from around here. They're feeding off that grain and the seeds that's on the ground, but then they disappear into the machinery and they're an absolute pig to get hold of. You can shoot them, but it's a very narrow shot. Hello? Maybe this is Mummy come to find those two youngsters to tell them off for not coming home for tea. <laughs> well, they're over here. You can come and join them anyway, love. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Look at them. They're climbing through all the little nooks and crannies in the machine. So you've got to be very, very still, line your shot up, and wallop. There's a bit of a ting there, but the pellet went straight through his brain box down the other side. Win. It's a win. Ooh, I bet that hurt. I bet that hurt. Nice bit of thrashing around there. Oh, look, here we go. He's come back out. This is what I'm talking about. So he comes across, has a little drink, and high body shot. Those two two pellets are devastating. He'll bleed out very, very quickly. Yeah, not sure what this is, to be honest. I'm not going to shoot that. Again, back in the main barn where the machinery is, and look what we got. Another rat hiding underneath. Good solid smack there. High body shot. Kicks out. He's going to get a second one. Pellets are cheap. I want to make sure he goes down and he stays down. Still in the same barn. Still the same set of machinery. Still the same very annoying, filthy rats. They sit there and they look at you. Sometimes it even looks like they're talking to you. somewhat traumatised isn't he? His buddy's just been shot in the face and he's just seen his other friend shot. It got pretty quiet pretty quick from here in. They learn fairly quickly once you start spilling a lot of grey matter they don't want to wait around so they kind of go to the ground and quieten down a bit. Okay, we're over on the arable farm now. So there's a big grain store here, and there's sort of a lot of fields at the back. The noise you can hear in the background is the fans of the grain store. Spot this one on the thermal, got a bead on him, took a shot, thought I'd missed, but the blood coming from the ears, nose and mouth 
Well, we know where that pellet's gone, don't we? The nights are a lot, lot darker and they certainly are getting colder. And the colder they get, the more rats come in from the fields. They're at the, out there at the moment hoofing up all the spilled grain and the bits of crop, but they're coming in and they're coming in quite quickly as well. Spot this one under a stigger, under the bucket. Nice 44 yard shot. Absolutely domed in with the GSP exact. You've got to pick these up as well. I don't leave the man around. It's just not right to be leaving dead rats lying about. The farmer doesn't want to see it and will spread disease. I couldn't believe my luck with this one. I came around the corner and he's literally sitting there, but probably because of the background noise of the fans. He heard nothing. He had nothing apart from the crack of his head when that pellet landed. And to be honest, even then, he's not going to be bothered, is he? He's not going anywhere. At the other end of the farm, now there's quite a lot of overgrown um, rocks, if you like, and they're all hiding down there. It's quite difficult to spot them. On the infrared, you can spot them glowing up on the thermal, but actually getting a bead on them to get the shot down, it's not always easy. See what I mean? Just see an eye sometimes. But you know you've got them and you can go and pick them up. And this one's sitting up on the rock face. So I'm going to punch him in the face with a GSB. These pellets are absolutely beautiful in the FX Impact. They really do hit the mark. Not long after that rat had fallen, we'll get a nosy neighbour sticking his head out. So I'm going to give him a splitting lead ache as well. Beautiful. That tail sticking straight out tells me that's a nice clean headshot. Right, let's go and have a look around. Hiding at the top of the hill, help yourself to spill grain I've just been talking about. Well, do you know what? Have 13.43 grain and go straight down. Run, rabbit, run, rabbit, run, run, run. Here comes Johnny with his gun, gun, gun. Actually, stay where you are mate, you're fine. Rabbits are not on the quarry list here. Uh, same as squirrels, I say the occasional squirrel, they're not included either. Pigeons, rats, general disease carriers. That was a really productive session at the arable farm. Come back to the dairy farm with me. We've got a little bit more clearing up to do. A certain queen song comes to mind when I see him doing this. Got one sitting out in the open. Big mistake. Got one last one here to wrap up the video. Look at him hiding there. You can't hide from the thermal. You can't hide from a pellet. Just turned his head inside out. And with that, I want to say thanks for watching.